Hey everyone, welcome to another painting tutorial. As requested by one of my viewers, here is a painting tutorial for a simple way on how to paint snake bite orcs. Consistent with all my orc painting tutorials, I began by priming the model black. You may also notice that I really like to use a black primer and then use a bunch of uh, GW foundation colors to paint the model as it saves a lot of time when you're batch painting a lot of models like when you're painting an orc army. I started the skin with the GW foundation color, Orc Hide Shade. It's a great color to start off your orc skin, as you can tell in the name. I then went over the skin with the first highlight of another GW foundation color, Narlock Green. I just tried to focus on the outer parts and not the recesses of the skin. I did another highlight of the skin with Reaper Pale Green. If you don't have Pale Green by Reaper, I recommend um, GW Scorpion Green. However, this ends up bringing the skin to a really, really light color, so to bring it down, I did a Thraka green wash on the entire skin. This wash will tie the greens together as well as bring it down a little bit in color. And finally, to finish off the skin, I did one more highlight with Reaper Pale Green. Uh, once again, if you don't have Reaper Pale Green, just use GW Scorpion Green. Now that the skin is done, it's time to focus on the clothing. So the snake bites tend to use er more earthy tones, primarily different shades of brown. So I started off by painting all of the clothing with a base coat of Kemri Brown. This foundation color will color cover up all the blacks and then what we'll do is we will go one shade lighter for one set of clothing and one shade darker for another. For the pants, I did a couple very quick watered down coats of bleached bone. Once again, if you're only using bleached bone on the black, uh, we tend to, it tends to go in very, very thin. So the best thing you can do is to do the first color with Kemri Brown, and then the um, bleached bone will go on very easily. I then did his shirt, um, Snakebite Leather. As you can tell in the name, it fits perfectly with the Snakebite Clan. I then painted all the leather on the model, so the boots, uh, his gloves, all of the straps, with Kelton Brown. I find that Kelton Brown is one of the best colors for mimicking the color of leather, uh, possibly besides snakebite leather. I then painted all the metallic areas on the model, so the axes, his helmet, and uh, his spikes, all with bolt gun metal. As I do with all the metal on my models, I tend to use bulk on metal as the base coat and then do a black or a black brown wash, followed by some highlights. I use GW's foundation color of denim stone to paint the teeth, uh, his horns, and his fingernails. And now it's time to use some washes to bring out some quick and easy shading on the model. I first gave all of the clothing and the horns a watered down Devlin mud wash. This Devlin mud once again will provide some very quick and easy shading on the model and give it a little bit of a dirty appearance. I then gave all the metallic areas a black brown wash consisting of a 50 50 mix of bad at black and Devlin mud. This wash will give all the metallic areas a slightly dirty and um, more defined look. After the wash had dried on the armor, I did a first highlight with chainmail, uh, mostly just by dry brushing it over or doing a thin highlight along the top, and then a second highlight with mithril silver. Uh, these two highlights will just bring out a little bit of the detail in these metal areas. And finally, I just painted a little bit of war paint on the model uh, using Blood Red and Enchanted Blue, as well as painting the eyes uh, Blood Red as well. Anybody who collects uh, 
snake bites know that they really love their war paint so just add uh, you know whatever pattern you want as you can see I added some blue lines on his face and also some um, red vertical lines and that's it you now know how I painted my snake bite orc um, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is just a really quick and easy way uh, to paint many orcs at the same time in the same color scheme. So I didn't go into really extreme detail of the painting. However, I think based on the amount of time it took, it, I did a pretty good job and it's a, a pretty uh, nice color scheme overall. For his base, I used a very similar method as I did with my rocky terrain base. So if you want to know how I did it, just feel free to check out that tutorial. And that's it. So as always, thank you very much to all you people out there for watching and subscribing to my videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe to my videos and leave comments below. Also, you can follow my blog at paintingwithj.blogspot.com for more weekly updates, and tutorials, and reviews, as well as a list of all my upcoming painting tutorials. So until next time, this is Mini Wargamer J saying, Happy painting, everyone. Overall, I'd have to say that I really enjoyed painting Traz in the Infinite, and I didn't find them very hard at all to paint, given the amount of effort that I, I put in.